Hey guys. I figured I would do a what's in my purse video. I figured what better way to come back to YouTube than to put up a what's in my purse video. So this is my purse. <laughs> I really like this purse. I got this purse from Shein and it was $16 and it's really pretty. Um, I like the baby pink and it's huge inside if you could see. I got these little charms on the outside. It's a little pink puff ball and this rhinestone heart. Um, this also came from Shein. It was like a dollar and something. And then I got this. This is just like a safety siren. You pull this pin out and the siren is so loud that it can be heard up to a mile away. So I just have this on there for safety reasons, obviously. So let's get to what's in the purse. Okay, so this is the first bag. It just has little teddy bears on it. And I got this from Shein as well. Um, it was also like a dollar, not very much. And I used this one for um, all of my electronics. So I'll take everything out and let you guys see. Like I said, this might be a long video because I carry a lot in my purse. So the first thing is this keyboard that I got from Shein. I love Shein and Timo. I love it. But it's a foldable keyboard and it's Bluetooth and I keep it for my iPad because I do like to do a lot of like journaling and Bible study on my iPad. I basically treat my iPad like it is a laptop. So this can this little keyboard comes in handy and it works really really well. It was like $12 on Shein, so really affordable. And it, I like because it folds up and it's so tiny that I can just carry it everywhere. Then I have my AirPods, which I also got, where did I get these from? Amazon. I got these from Amazon. These are not AirPods. I have AirPods and I flipping hate them. If I could give one piece of advice, do not spend your money on AirPods. Go another way because mine barely even work anymore i've cleaned them i don't know how many times they're just not worth the money in my opinion but um this is digital it actually lights up and shows me the charge and stuff i have them in my ears right now so it's not going to do it right now but i got these from amazon they were really cheap um i can't even remember how much they cost but if you guys are interested let me know and i could put the link in the description box then I got my Apple Pencil, which I bought this little um, pencil holder for it. It works like a little pin, and um, you push here, and it pops it back out. But my Apple Pencil is in here. I also got this from Amazon. I think it was like, it was under $10, so really affordable. And then I have this stylus, which also bought from Amazon a while ago. And this one is for my phone. Um, it just has this little thing that you twist up and it writes, it's bendable and stuff. So um, yeah, this one is for my phone when I wanna like draw on my phone or whatever, which I seldom do, but I keep it in there anyway. And then I just have a bunch of miscellaneous cords and chargers down there that I need for all of my stuff. The next bag I'm gonna pull out is this one, and it's a first aid kit. Um, it was just the bag. I got this from, I think it was, it was Shein that I got this one. And it literally was like maybe $2 if that. And it doesn't come with anything in it, but I've put stuff in it. In here, I just have a digital thermometer and some Neosporin. I also have this peel container that I just keep. There's a cough drop in here and lots of ibuprofen. Um, but this also came from Shein. It was maybe a dollar or under, but I liked it because it was pink and it gave me something to put my ibuprofen in. I got some other like creams and stuff. 
um, some um, eye drops and then just band-aids and there's some alcohol wipes back there as well. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna pull out, I don't know if I'm gonna take everything out of here because you guys can kind of see what's in here. I have some lifesavers. I have some of these cream saver things. Um, I have a couple of lighters because I do smoke. This one I got from Timu and I love it. It's rechargeable. Where's the thing? So, and there's no fire, but you open it up and it comes on and then you put your finger over it and you see that light right there. That's how you light your cigarette if you smoke, obviously, but um, I really like it. Then I got this little jar from Shein. It was so cute. And inside, I just put some of my lotion. And every time I run out, I just refill it because I don't want to carry like big tubes of lotion with me. Um, this was like a dollar on Shein. Um, another lighter. I have some super glue because that's what I use for my nails to keep them on for a long time. I have some extra hair scrunchies. This is a makeup remover wipe. Another hair scrunchie. This is just like to clean my screens. Um, this is some double sided tape. This little thing came with my necklace. Um, it just has extra pictures in it. I got a locket and I had um, some pictures put in the locket and they sent me some extra pictures just in case it mess up. So I keep it in this little velvet bag. Then I have this. Um, this is something that I also got from Shein. And if you open it up, it has a little brush and a very pointy end here. And this is to clean your AirPods with. Um, the tool itself is wonderful, but like I said, don't waste your money on AirPods in my opinion because they're not worth the money when you can get regular Bluetooth for a fraction of the cost. I also got another like glasses cleaner. Um, this is like just a little glasses tool. I got a hair scrunchie. I really like these because they hold my hair really well. Next bag I'm pulling out is this little pencil case right here. And in here, I just keep some highlighters and a pen because I like to read and do Bible study and I just keep some of that in there. Then I have a little brush. This is a Minnie Mouse brush. Um, it gets the job done. I just put it in there because it was small and I don't want to carry my huge hairbrush. I have my eyeglasses, one pair of them um, look like that. Okay. Then I have a pack of these sanitizing tech wipes to keep your phones clean, um, your watches clean, um, just all that stuff it kills viruses and bacteria. I really like these. I got these at the Family Dollar. Um, they were normally $3, but they had like this big bin of them and they had them for 50 cents. So I bought some to see if I liked them. Then I carry my iPad. Um, I got this case from Amazon and it's pink. I have the iPad eighth generation. Um, and maybe I'll do a video of what's on my iPad, but um, if you guys want it, just let me know. But uh, I got one of these little, what's that thing called? like the covers for my camera I bought from Shein and it was like, I don't know, like 50 cents, not even that much. But um, yeah, there's my iPad in here. Then I just bought this book because one of my coworkers was actually reading it and she had left it here at work one day and I was thumbing through it and I was like, that sounds like a good book. So I went to Books A Million and I bought me a copy and it's having a merry heart in a Martha world, finding intimacy with God 
in the busyness of life and that is so my life right now um it's by joanna weaver and um i haven't really read too much of it yet but um i'm on my little paper clip there um but yeah i've i really like it so far then i have this bag which i also got from shein it was like a dollar it's just like this mesh bag it's really nice actually i have my icebreaker mints i really like these and i just have two roller ball perfumes um this one is a jessica simpson even though the thing has rubbed off i have that one and then i bought this one from amazon fairly recently because i saw it on tiktok and um this one is um the pure instinct and it's in crave and it's just a roller ball now the funny thing about this is is they claim that it is um, made with pheromones that really drive your spouse or your significant other crazy it doesn't <laughs> it is an oil like a like an oil um it smells super good this version they also have an original but in my experience it doesn't do that <laughs> sure they're gonna think you smell good but um but yeah, it was really hyped up on TikTok, so I bought it. It was like $16. It it will last you a long time because it's like an oil base, but it's not the type of perfume that lasts all day long. Um, maybe two, three hours, and then you have to reapply, but whatever. I got it to try it. Now to the nitty gritty. This is just my keys. My car key. This is my house key. I just had this made because I just moved and my pepper spray. This is my remote start for my car and some other random keys that I have no clue what they're to and I need to take them off my key ring. Okay, back here. The other thing in this pocket are these little post-it notes that I got. Um, I bought these from, I think it was Shein and they're actually clear. And you can write over top of them and when you post them on your pages or whatever you can still see the writing underneath so i thought these would be really nice especially for bible study um and they were like a dollar and the last thing i have in my purse is my makeup bag um i got this from the family dollar it came in like a set of two ones bigger um but it's at home in my bible bag um, I'll show you the makeup essentials that I carry with me. Um, this is my favorite pressed powder right now. I have bought, I've been using this stuff for about three months now. I have bought probably 10 of these already and I love them. They're $3. You can buy these at the dollar store, um, family dollar. They're really affordable. Mine is in fair. I love this pressed powder. Um, I have this mascara, even though it's about out. I got everything so like dirty with my lash glue, but I got this LA Colors Iridescent Lip Gloss. It's really pretty. I like this one a lot. Also found this at the Family Dollar. Then I carry this telescopic lift mascara. Like I said, everything's dirty with lash glue because I'm not really picky with my mascara anymore. I don't care what kind it is um, because I wear false lashes and I basically just use my mascara to um, blend my lashes, my regular lashes in with my falsies. So I don't know, I just bought this one, whatever. Then I have this lipstick. I really like this one. It's almost gone. Looks like that. It's the e.l.f. one in, if you guys can see, natural, natural nymph. I really like I it. I have my favorite eyelash glue, which is a complete and utter disaster. I've bought a billion of these. Um, it's the duo, the green kind, not the blue, but the green. Love it. 
This is my eyebrow pencil that I love from e.l.f. I got an eyeliner that's felt tip. It's disgusting with eyelash glue right now. And this is also one of my favorite lipsticks right now. It is LA Colors as well. There's no color. Oh wait. Brunch and Bubbles is the name of it. And it is so pretty. I like that color. I have my Aloha Coconut Chopstick. I have a dirty puff because I don't like applying powder over and over and over. My face gets kind of icky during the daytime if I sweat, so I just blot my face with that. And then switch them out. This is another eyeliner. And then I have this Victoria's Secret lip balm, even though I tore off the thing and it is so dirty from where the stickiness was on it, but it still works good and I love it. Then I just have a pencil sharpener, some tweezers, and some Q-tips. But there we go, guys. Um, that's everything that's in my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But thank you guys for sticking with me that have stayed subscribed to me. Um, I really appreciate it. I miss you guys. I miss talking to you guys. Um, if you've made it this far, if you want to keep in touch with me, the best place to do it is on Instagram. Um, I'm not in this for followers. I'm not in this for making money. I'm very picky on um, who I let follow me and stuff. So um, if you ask to be my friend on Instagram, you'll see my stories. You'll see my photos of my life and everything, what's been going on. But make sure you send me a message on Instagram and tell me that you're from YouTube so I can approve you. Because I get a lot of like men and stuff on there wanting to be stupid and um, even women under fake profiles and stuff. So um, it's just all like spam and stuff and I don't like to approve everybody. So uh, yeah, just send me a message and say, hey, I'm adding you to Instagram. Here is my Instagram name so I can look for you. You can leave that in the comments below or um, send me a message on Instagram and say, hey, I just sent you a request on here. Um, it's me and I'll approve you. But I love you guys and I'm glad to be back even though it's not full, full time and my videos will be like this from now on. They'll be like very old school. Back to the basics. I'm really just in this for like genuine friendships and things like that with those of you guys that have been with me for a long time. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.